and she is here, and I am here. And so, Judy Adams, I was wondering if maybe I could have a dance. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sean O'Hare, and I'm the founder of 100 Million Strong. 100 Million Strong is a nonprofit that seeks to create a global platform for special needs awareness. Around the globe, there are roughly 100 million individuals with severe disabilities, and our organization seeks to create a platform in which they can be celebrated and we can increase volunteerism and special needs advocacy. And I'm Keith Mason, I'm the executive director of the Jerome Lejeune Foundation USA. Jerome Lejeune discovered the additional 21st chromosome, which we now know as trisomy 21, and was the, known as the father of modern genetics. The foundation, based in Paris, is in his honor, and they have a hospital there that focuses just on people with Down syndrome. And they service over 9,000 patients every year. And so our goal here with the Jerome Lejeune Foundation USA is to duplicate that, that work and to add on to uh, an additional holistic clinic here in the United States. Sean and I have been friends for a long time and realizing the tremendous need for a hospital like this here in the United States uh, that services the needs of Down syndrome people, Sean had the idea of partnering up so that we could do one of these fashion shows together in Paris to raise some of the funds that we would need for this tremendous uh, facility. And so that's what we're doing. We're going to Paris to help build a hospital here in the United States, and we want you to come. So over the past couple years, uh, we've had the opportunity to take these programs nationally and now internationally. Uh, and each time we have these events, it's just an extraordinary experience for everybody involved. Uh, and so I wanted to have the opportunity to introduce you to two individuals who were actually in our very first fashion show that took place in Times Square in New York City. Uh, so now I'm going to get a chance to introduce you to Judy and Matthew. Judy, can you tell everyone how old you are? I'm 20. And when do you turn 21? Yes, I'm going to be 21 in October. That's awesome. And Matthew, you're 25, right, buddy? Yep. We're thinking of doing our these shows in like a big plaza where you can have thousands of people to to see you. What do you think about that? And that is the most lovely idea. Yeah, you think that would be fun, man? You would be the star. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you'd be great at it. And what did you do when you got on the runway? Did you, you run? Yeah, you ran with me. Yes. And then we did a high we did a high ten like this. Yeah, go oh, ten. <laughs> <laughs> and then you ran down you ran down the runway like it was uh, like it was like it was like it was a jetway. You were getting ready to take off. <laughs> uh, and then and what did, what did what did what did it feel like to be uh, in a pretty dress and on on the on the runway? <laughs> Now I'm very happy to introduce um, a very special uh, woman who is the mother of Matthew and Judy, uh, and this is Kim Adams. Thank you for talking with us. Um, so I was wondering maybe you just describe a little bit about how you got to adopt uh, Matthew and Judy. I adopted Matthew um, back in 1994. I'm a single parent, and um, he was very sick when he came to me, but it was such um, a blessing to be able to do what I needed to do in order to help him. And the goal is to build a hospital and a full care facility for those with, with Down syndrome. Given what you had gone through with different medical situations, what do you think that would have meant had that hospital existed 20 years ago? Oh, that would have been a godsend. <laughs> because you're always running around trying to find the best person to deal with the issue that you're dealing with at that particular moment. So I've traveled from, um, I've traveled to Columbia Presbyterian, I've gone to Long Island Jewish, I've gone to Albany Medical Center, I've gone to Boston Children's. So yeah. I've gone to many, many different hospitals. So if there was one hospital. Yeah. <laughs> specifically focused on the needs. Yeah, that, that would be amazing. You're watching this video today because you're literally critical to this effort. We need your help to build this hospital. 
and we'd like to invite you to this amazing event in Paris, a fashion show that really focuses on true beauty. We need your financial participation and that of your friends. Please get involved. Uh, please help sponsor uh, this event in Paris and help us to make a difference in Paris, in America, and around the world.